Even if you've forgotten just once to engage your handbrake, you'll be glad to have a handbrake warning buzzer because you'll always have the peace of mind that you've left your car or your van safely parked with the handbrake engaged. Hello and welcome to the channel. And today's project is a handbrake warning buzzer. This buzzer will sound if you've forgotten to engage the handbrake when switching off the engine. Unlike standard warning lights in cars, which warn you if you've left the handbrake on, this type of buzzer actually has a safety function because it'll warn you if there is a danger of your car rolling uh, when, you know, when you've left it parked and with the engine off. So unlike my daily car, my Fiat Ducato camper van does not engage the handbrake or lock the cars using its gears automatically. And if you're safety conscious, then stay tuned and I'll show you how to rig up your own handbrake warning system. To be able to do this project though, you will need to have crimping tools, cable strippers, crimp connectors, cables, a multimeter, and other basic DIY tools. This project is made out of three stages. Stage one is making the micro switch rig. This is the bit that um, tells whether the handbrake is engaged or not engaged. It, it, it tells you which position the brake is in. Stage two well, is uh, obtaining power from the fuse box. And stage three is wiring it all together and putting it into a little box with a little switch. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe at the end and leave any comments you like. I began by removing the plastic panel to expose the handbrake lever. I drilled a four millimeter hole through the lever arm so I could attach a flat metal bracket like this one. One word of caution though, please make sure not to drill through the upper part of the handbrake lever or arm as this might damage the release mechanism. So just uh, make your hole roughly where, where, where you see it here. The rig needs to be reliably rigid, so I added a second short bracket to cross strengthen it. So next I attached a micro switch to the end of it so that the switch came on when the handbrake is in the off position. This micro switch is from JCAR and costs less than $5. It can be wired so that it is either on or off when the switch is activated. But for our purposes, it has to be on when activated. I had to widen the screw holes of the micro switch slightly so that I could use four millimeter threaded bolts to attach the switch to the metal rig in a way that allowed me to adjust its position and then lock it in. So now ready for step two, which was to obtain power from the main fuse box. To obtain power from the fuses here, you'll need this sort of piggyback add-on fuse holder. And there are two sources of power that are required. One, which is always on, and the other, which comes on only when the engine is turned on with the turn of the key. This second type of power is known as ACC power, which is short for accessory power. In the Fiat Ducato, it is the top row of fuses, which are the ACC type. I then ran the two power cables to the handbrake location. To do this, I had to remove two plastic upholstery panels and I was able to run the cables neatly all the way to the handbrake micro switch. Now it was time for stage three, which is all about the wiring and connections and placing it all together into a plastic enclosure box. The wiring basically contains three main parts. The, the LED switch, the main on off kill switch, if you like, the relay, the relay is the part of it, which is, which works out whether the engine is on or off. And the third part is the enclosure box to hold it all in. So the kill switch is just an ordinary 12 volt switch you can get for three bucks from JCA. And its purpose is to manually override the buzzer should you ever need to, let's say if there was a malfunction. If you're wondering why a relay is needed, it's because we need a way to tell when the engine is on and wire the relay such that the buzzer will only sound when the engine is off and the handbrake is off. So to know whether the engine is on or off, you need the relay 
and to know if the handbrake is on or off, you use the micro switch. Be sure you use a relay with five pins, not the usual ones which only have four pins. It is the fifth pin called 87A, which we need for this project. The 12 volt power is connected to pin 30, which is the one in the middle. The ACC power goes to the left pin. The uh, kill switch is connected to the 87 pin, 87A pin, and that switch goes on to feed the buzzer. And finally, the last pin is the pin on the bottom right side, and that is to ground, uh, which means you connect it to any metal part of the vehicle, which runs all the way back to the negative terminal of the battery. For the kill switch, the middle pin connects to pin 87A of the relay, and the other pin, or the silver pin, connects to the buzzer, and the copper pin connects to the ground. So in our case, we can connect the copper pin to pin 85. As for the buzzer, one end, of the, one end is to the kill switch, and the other end is to the micro switch. And finally, the wiring for the micro switch, one end to the buzzer, and the other to ground. So now you'll be ready to test it all out, make sure it's working. And uh, just to finish it up, a little bit of aesthetics. Um, you could use a bit of um, spray paint to uh, spray all the metal bits to blend in with uh, the rest of your car. And um, I use some Velcro adhesive tabs to attach the switch box to the handbrake panel covering. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will leave a list of links of items I use for this project below. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Bye.